Just woke up. It's 5.45. Time to make coffee. Before I do my coffee, though, I always put my dishes away. All right, got my coffee maker set. Ready to uh, hit the play button on it and then do these dishes. So to recap, I woke up, I put my dishes away, started my coffee. While the coffee was going, I, put, I cleaned the dirty dishes and I made my bed. I didn't film making the bed. That felt weird. It is 5.50 now in the morning. Skylar will, will be up in about 25 minutes. So this is when I work. I sneak some work in this early in the morning. Now, after about 30 minutes of working on my laptop, it's time to take Skylar to school. Say hi. Are you gonna put music over it? You should do Master of Puppets. Yeah, yeah YouTube uh, will want to oh, block yeah. that. Or we'll get demonetized. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> If you, I am now. If, 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 it'll be funny if you put music all over the parts and then you sped up the part where you just did that so you like, sound like a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> One last car, like there's no one behind me. You couldn't just let me slip through and then everyone would have been gone through. <clears throat> Which one is it? Just Which one is it? Just go. It's fine. It's okay. I'm gonna have a problem with those guys this year, I think. <sighs> it's okay, Dad. See the parking numbers? Yeah. That's where you have to have your son parking if you're a senior. And then you pay extra to be able to paint it? Mm-hmm. Like, I think it's like $10 or something like that. Oh, of course, I'm going to let you paint yours. That's going to be strange. That'd be silly if I didn't let that. I know. I, okay, I'm going to let you out right now. Okay. Love you, honey. Have a good day. Love you, too. All right. Just dropped Skylar off at school. And this is uh, the day that I go to the gym, the local gym to get on my treadmill. Well, not my treadmill, their treadmill. And I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes on it. The speed is gonna be 2.5 at an incline of 10.5. That's it. This is my local gym, Club 4 Fitness, right here in Hernando, Mississippi. Here it is, time to get started. All right, that went great. I went a total of 35 minutes, two minutes no um, incline, 30 minutes at incline. I went from 10.5 to 11.5 to then 13, and then right back down to no incline for three minutes making it a total of 35. It's amazing what kind of workout that gives you. The key is incline. 
you just go 30 minutes on a flat uh, treadmill, you're better off to go for a walk. But the cool thing with inclines or treadmills is you can make it a hill nonstop for 30 minutes. And that's what I do. Now it's off to go home, clean up, eat breakfast, get to work. All right, so now I'm making breakfast. You're probably wondering what it is I eat. Well, it depends on the day. Today, I'm just having eggs. Just a protein breakfast, three eggs. You're probably wondering now what, what kind of eggs. Do I like them sunny side up or burnt or crisp or anything in between? Well, I like two ways. I like over medium. I like the runny yolk only when it comes with hash browns and biscuits and it's a full country style breakfast. But when I'm having eggs only, I overcook the daylights out of them. As you can see, yolk broken on purpose and fully cooked. Having that runny yolk without the toast and the hash browns or all the biscuit to sop it up just isn't the same. So hard, hard fried eggs, I guess is what you'd call them. All right, so now I am driving to the office. Wasn't part of the plan today. What is going on is I am having issues with the AC in my room. And I called yesterday and complained about it. They were nice. Office is great. I'm trying not to be a total pain in their butt. Uh, but uh, they called the HVAC people and uh, they said they'd be there at some point yesterday. That's what they said. I oh, will be there in a couple hours. So I waited around, got nothing, and then just left after business hours. Uh, so then I was told that I was going to get a text from the AC person and would be given a nice heads up. Instead, what happened is they called the office and said that they'd be there in 10 minutes. So the office called me and told me this and they apologized for the uh, confusion here but now I have to rush over there in hopes to catch them even though I did call the office back and, and tell them to call them let them know to wait for me because I don't want to miss this window of opportunity so the gentleman is down the hall working on the AC he's gonna to try to balance out the air ducts how, how it flows through this whole office area. So hopefully you can get something going in here, get some airflow in the meantime. I'm going to open up a box that has two of these here. This is the box. So I'm gonna set up those two boom mics here on this table right here and kill time while uh, waiting for the AC to be fixed. Here's a better look at what these mic stands look like. See the little clamp right on this table? And they're perfect and affordable. And then I'll be able to have the mic hanging there. And this will make it so the microphones will hang in front of me and the guest without taking floor space from stands or anything. I was originally going to try those, but they're not, they're not tall enough. So I'm going to do these instead. All right. The uh, air conditioner fella just left i think we're gonna be good can you hear that it's like there now there's air coming out of that thing and there it is phase number one of the podcast station you can see these arms move like so and then go this way and this is what it's going to look like Sitting as the guest. This is where the guest is going to be sitting. I'm putting them on this side so they can face the curtain rather than what's behind me. I'll be sitting there facing this direction. So behind me is the door. So I want the guest to have a better view. Plus they can see my awesome office. <laughs> so making the best of what I have to work with here space-wise, I think um, this is going to be awesome all right the uh ac situation is hopefully taken care of uh, now i'm heading back home real quick and then picking my mom up and here's why i am showing her where skylar's 
therapy office is. Uh, it's just probably 15, maybe 20 minutes top north of us. Um, and I have to do this because potentially my mom will have to take Skylar tomorrow. The appointment's at four, but my appointment with Comcast Xfinity is between one and three. And who knows, that might turn into 3.30, I don't know. So Skylar can walk home from school and uh, and that would still give us plenty of time to take her to her appointment. But uh, I want to make sure that my mom can take her in case I can't. But she doesn't doesn't know where the office is. Uh, I could she knows the area well enough where I could get her in the vicinity, but the driveway into the uh, therapy place is very hard to see and it's really easy to just fly right by it. So I want to drive her there and uh, so she can see it for herself. And then this will just be good long term. That way she knows where to take her if she needs to uh, take her to other appointments down the line. All right, so I have a special appearance. <laughs> My mom is here in the car with me. I managed to uh, capture her in between emails to the moving company and uh, we're gonna go show her the therapy office so here's her appearance right here you ready oh that's it explain that I have wet hair because I just showered you explain it I have wet hair <laughs> <laughs> so that's it we're going to the <laughs> therapy office I had a good trip with my mom we went to uh, see uh, I want to show her where my daughter's therapy office is, so we're good there. And from there, I dropped her off and uh, went back home, did some work at home, had a Zoom call, boring stuff. And now, I'm heading back to my office and meeting up with a gentleman by the name of Stephen Michael. Uh, and he is going to help me uh, with some set design, if you will. Uh, he has history in television development and production, so he's going to assist me in figuring out how to mount cameras and lights in the studio uh, as a way to empty floor space, and you've heard me talk about that uh, several times now. So we're going to grab lunch, um, and then I'm bringing him up to the office so he can see it. And start from there. So I just got back from the studio and I uh, had a great meeting with my buddy Steven. Man, we got some great ideas that can make this place look amazing, both with cameras and lights, at a very inexpensive rate. I had no idea how awesome cameras and LED lights are for such low prices. It's awesome what we'll be able to do uh, with um not having to spend thousands of dollars it's awesome so now i am uh back home on that laptop now i still don't have internet in the studio so i can't really work work there anymore i've been using this hot spot off my phone this just doesn't cut it the ac is working great internet's coming in tomorrow all is good all right, so you think I just jumped from my bedroom to my office in the same day? No, this is like two days later. I uh, lost track and couldn't uh, record more, but uh, I am editing. Look at that. I'm actually editing and realized that I should come on here and thank you for watching this silly video. Um, I have internet, AC's working, all is good. but. Just thought I'd have some fun and make a silly video for y'all. So we'll uh, talk to you next time.